Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. If you have a Life of Fred book in Apples, go ahead and pull that out now and you can follow along. We are going to be on page 101 and that's chapter 15. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. Ready? The title is called In the Great Woods. Fred walked down the path in the great woods. He enjoyed the quiet. Since it was February in Kansas, the flowers had not yet started to bloom. Four months from now, it would be June and the great woods would be filled with flowers. The trees in this part of the woods had all their leaves. They were evergreens. Fred has seen the Wizard of Oz movie. In the movie, Dorothy and her friends were in a dark forest and they were afraid of lions and tigers and bears. Fred thought to himself, but that was just a movie. This is real life. There are no lions, tigers, or bears running around in the woods near the Kittens University campus. Fred headed through the woods. He crossed a little brook. He climbed up a little hill and stood at the very top. There was a wonderful view. He raised his arms and was about to start singing. And then he noticed something. He decided to be very quiet. He hoped the lion would not notice that he was standing on its head. <clears throat> he waited five minutes. It was now five minutes after three o'clock. The lion didn't move. Fred didn't move. A butterfly landed on Fred's head and then it flew away. It was now 10 minutes after three. The lion didn't move. Fred didn't move. It was now 15 minutes after three. Nobody moved. It was now 3.20 and then 3.25. Can you see why people learn to count by fives? Fred needed to do something. He carefully looked down at the lion. It was not moving at all. It didn't even blink. The lion's hair felt very hard. He waited another five minutes just to make sure. 3.30. Then he hopped off the lion. The lion didn't move. It was a statue. There was a sign near the lion. The students of Kittens University dedicate this statue to the lion in the Wizard of Oz. Okay, take out a pencil and piece of paper. Are you ready for your turn to play? Remember, press pause at any time. Number one, four plus three equals what? Number two, seven minus three equals what? Number three, what time is it? Number four, what time is it? Number five, what time is it? Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. I hope you learned something fun today. Please join me tomorrow for chapter 16. And are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Bye.